Dirty air is deadlier than unsafe water, malnutrition, and unsafe sanitation. A 2016 study by a global policy forum showed that an average of 19,000 deaths in Kenya arise from air pollution each year. While outdoor air pollution is mainly linked to cars, industrial production, and burning waste, indoor contamination arises from biomass fuels like dung and firewood used for heating or cooking. In urban areas, air contamination by carbon emission from vehicles is rife. Although Kenya banned leaded petrol that fill the air with sulfur, many vehicles run on diesel. This has been proven to be more damaging to human health, not only causing cancer, heart and lung damage, but also affecting our mental faculties. The age and state of our vehicles are a big factor. Older and faultier automobiles, as well as traffic congestion exposing city dwellers to intensive vehicle pollution for hours on end, worsen matters. Another issue raising our toxic air levels is open burning. The smell emanating from burning plastics and rubber is one of the most toxic pollutants to humanity, loaded with dioxins and furans that are straight line to cancer, impotence, and various allergies. Air quality monitoring in Kenya is practically non-existent. Lack of guidelines on tobacco smoking across the country and industrial smoke also remain a great hindrance to a pollution-free environment. In addition to reduced use of wood as a fuel in open fires and the controlled use of diesel engines, planting of trees is a great way of reducing particulate matter in air.